Hi, Nadim here from Smart Writing Gadgets. Today I'm just doing a tutorial on how to set up the W702B with iOS. So if you have an iPhone and you're going to be using CarPlay, this is the tutorial that will show you how to set up exactly with the W702B. Now the B stands for the BMW mount. Uh, obviously the normal 702 whether whichever bike you're attaching to and if you're using iOS the, it's the exact same way of doing it. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is attach the unit into the bracket. Let's switch on. Now I have been previously paired up with the unit but I've deleted all the settings from it. So it's giving a pass key there. So what I'm going to do is go into the CarPlay menu on my phone and look for the unit. Okay, now Bluetooth pairing request. Pair. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. Allow. Right, so the carpet Wi-Fi and everything has connected. Right, so it's all connected now. There's a couple of things we're going to check. There's a couple of other steps that we need to do if you're using this properly. There's uh, different things that we have to do with this. So first of all, we need to find this button here, Car Home. Go in there, then go to Audio Output and make sure that you select iPlay Auto and not BT Trans. If you select BT Trans, everything usually works apart from navigation commands, and I don't know why that is, but that seems to be the way. So make sure you that this is selected. We are not going to pair the comm system and the helmet directly to the carpet ride. The comm system is paired to the phone, and then the phone is connecting to this, so that's all you want. So you can even see the little symbol of the phone there, connecting in. So that's that's what you want to do. So do not connect your comm system, whichever one it is. You do not need to do that. Now, if you do that, everything should generally work okay. Okay, I've just powered up my headset on the helmet and I'm just going to check everything's working. The things that tend to go wrong, especially if you connect into the BT Trans mode instead of the iPlay Auto or you pair your comms unit directly to this. Everything seems to work apart from navigation instructions and people are wondering why the hell it's not working. It tends to be because the connections aren't correct because you're not in the iPlay mode. But I'm just gonna test this now. So this is switched on. Right, that's working. So let's go to ways and see if we can put a destination in. Let's take B Sandor UTCA Mesachalos. Arrival time on this. So that's working as well. In two hundred meters. Oh. Turn right on Gardani Gaza UTCA. So that's everything working. It really is that simple. There's nothing extremely complicated. People are making it complicated because they're doing things wrong. So very, very simple. Your connection, your comms unit in your helmet connected to the phone, do not pair it to the carpet ride unit. Do not attempt to do it. If you do that, things are going to go wrong. If you have already done this and you're watching this video, delete it from there, reset to factory for your headset as well. So you're going to have to do that. Some of them, like Cardo, they've got an app you can do it. If they haven't, there will be a certain combination of buttons that you press to restore to factory. Then pair it again to your phone delete everything off of the carpet ride and on your phone, CarPlay, go into the CarPlay menu, forget the this car, do all that, delete everything possible and start again and just do exactly what we've done in this video and it will work. Thanks.